So, hello people, how are you going? And today I'm going to show you these two German Reichsfenny coins. Now, the interesting thing about these is that they are from 1939 and they're not that common. So, as you can see, they're pretty much the same, but they have two different mint marks. This one has J, which is Hamburg. This one has E, which is Muldenhuten. And... Another difference between these coins is the quality of these coins. Now, from my um, from my uh, from what I know, this coin is in a very fine condition. And this one will probably be high grade, very fine to extremely fine. It's not really circulated that much. It does have some scratches and that on it. But this one has a hell of a lot more scratching. Um, but you can see this on the obverse sides with the eagle. So as you can see with the eagle, you can see that um, mainly with the chest area, you can see that this one is very, very fine and is not actually worn too much and also with the reef around the swastika and on this coin is actually a bit worn and also the reef is actually quite worn as well the thing the thing with aluminium coins is that they very easily wear down as aluminium is a soft metal not as soft as zinc which you can bend with your hand but a copper coin like or a aluminium bronze coin like this one is a lot stronger and will wear well in circulation so that is why aluminium coins are not really used these days mainly ooh, what country uses aluminium at the moment I can't think of any um, Maybe Burundi, this uh, Burundi 5 franc coin, 2014, that's aluminium. Um, maybe some of the CFA countries, uh, Ethiopia, the 1 centimos. Oh, not many countries use aluminium because um, yeah, it doesn't wear well in circulation. The pre-Euros, Austria, the 10... Russian was aluminium so some countries did use them but I can't really think of any now I'd have to look it up so these are German um, mintages was the J coin this one here had a mintage of 1 million this one had a mintage of 2 million so the 1939 mintages were pretty low and the highest mintage was in 1940 now, these coins were introduced because um, they diver diverted the uh, metals, especially aluminium, um, not aluminium, especially nickel, for the war effort. Even though minting coins didn't actually produce as many, um, didn't, didn't actually need as much metal as, uh, I don't know, like producing consumer goods. Anyway, so if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And let me know if you like these Nazi Germany coins. And also, I do have another video describing um, Nazi Germany coinage. And I used to have a lot, but no, I don't need that many. And I got rid of them. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.